a way in. Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? It's far. Go on. Look up. Just up there. Listen to us. That's it. Shall we tell her where to go? Shall we? Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a good girl. Oh, isn't she? I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed it? his father. You can feel it. No. Don't open the door. Don't go in. Don't turn back. Turn back. It's dangerous. What's that? Get back. A great beast guards Selheim. Garm is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it! The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. to do. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. They always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, they okay. want me with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father. It's in the No, it's not. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now. Does it? The darkness will come again.
She'll have to go under. She can't. She can't. Rian the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rian would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rian reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rian go in search of Fafnir.
Dilly. This is just another trial. Just another trick. Just to distract her from her real mission. You think you know, but you don't. Your mother is killed. You don't know anything. Or is she? And Dillian is dead. She realized that only she could see them. Her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. The dragon Fafner is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit, and Fafner sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure.
Felix. The beast is crawling into your mind, searching for weakness. It found your mother and used her to trap you in here. Did you see her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness, that she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Go through the door, the door's open. It's open. You have to go through and she opened it with a She can get her mother out. Her mother doesn't. Where is her? It's It's a trap. The beast is coming. Stupid little flea. Keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Tilly.
Zinbel was right. Zinbel was trying to save her from the darkness. But she wouldn't listen. And now everybody is because of her. It's all her fault. All her fault was She should have known. She should have known. Why doesn't she learn? She when will she learn? Now the darkness Although the Sigurd world. kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. But Rian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. She can't. She'll die. She has to. She can't. <laughs> <laughs>
Sigurd's new found power lets him hear the birds speak. And they say, Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rain wants Fafner's gold. Sigurd should kill Rain before Rain kills him. Sigurd should find Brynhild the Valkyrie, who sleeps an enchanted sleep. Sigurd heeds the bird's advice. He kills Rain, eats Fafner's roasted heart, and takes Fafner's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest. To ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild the Valkyrie. What's she doing? She's lighting a torch. She's making light. She's making a fire. She's got light on the other side. She'll be safe. What's her plan? What's she thinking? She going to get there. help but think of him. A tender guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Burning shields. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. But like me, Sigurd is fearless and passes through the flames just as I did and wakes the sleeping warrior girl. She teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and help, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the north, you must learn the secrets of the runes. To fight Come back to me. Come back. Come back. Do you hear you? I hear you. Come back to me, Shannon. I'm coming for you. Oh my gosh. I'm coming. with him. You turn your back on me. 
that is why he did it. Yeah, I have to fight it. Fight. 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 Come into my shadow. Thank <laughs> you. 
people think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals, kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul. Even if this time, she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. time I wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to the mountain to trust you. As deep as we can go. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. Mother, I won't let the darkness trick me again. <laughs> 